Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? It's a new day, and as usual, I try my best to give you a new video, man. And just like you've seen in the title of the video, today's video is a bit different, man. I was told there's a there's a certain buzz around this area, not the tram. Yeah, so I'm heading there. See the, this bus? Yeah, it does. It gives people think the whole city tour. And so, let's, let's go through this way so that we can see what's happening here. There's an event, I think, or something. Yeah. As you can see, there's an event. I don't know if it's a crusade or what, but since it's summer, it's expected. Yeah, so I'm supposed to go to that other side. Yeah, that's where the bus stops. And I hope I'm not late because it's kind of quarter to 4 pm. It's quarter to 4 p.m. So I hope I'm not late. Yeah, and uh, let's go and see the whole city together, guys. Thank you for the love that you're showing this channel. I do appreciate, guys. I don't take you for granted. Yeah, I do appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, guys, comment. Uh, Comment in the comment section below which kind of ideas, which kind of videos do you, do you want me to do when I'm still here. Yeah, I appreciate you so much. Yeah, so... That's a tram as, also, as always. You can see the traffic light. It was showing there's a tram closer. Yeah, and I think after that I'm done. We can cross this other side. There's this bus here. Yeah, I think almost two. So I need to ask someone. It's that uh, that office. I think I'm gonna be asking if I want to use it. How much will I pay when it's free? Hello. Hello. Uh, you speak English? Uh, I wanted to do the tour. Yeah, next tour is uh, three, uh, this, uh, six people is minimum. Six people minimum. So there is no one else at the moment. Ah, so I have to wait. So it's supposed to be at what time? Time? Yeah, well, it's at the 4 o'clock. This is in a public place. How much? 10 or 10, 10, 10. 10 euros? Yes. Okay. So I can just wait around. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so guys, I'm being told... Uh, for the bus to depart, uh, it has to have a minimum of six people. And yeah, so I can chill around maybe for a few and then see if if they'll get other five people. And uh, it's 10 euro, guys. 10 euro, that's around. Uh, if you're watching from Kenya, that's around 1,400. 1,400. Wrong. Yeah, so let's chill and wait, man. Let's wait, let's wait. 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 Let's wait.
it's where you've no problem. Right? And it's supposed to depart at around 4. So I'm not so sure what I get. Or I'm gonna have to do this video some other time. Why am I always? Why am I late? Why am I late? It's almost 4 p.m. Why am I late? Well, I've done that in the morning, so yeah. Yeah, guys, it's late there. Now I'm charging. Ready to pay? You can pay now. English. Yeah, I'm alone. Yeah. Second coach is English. On the right side. Second. Yeah, second coach. Leaves at what time? 4.30. 4.30. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to wait. Have to wait. Yeah. Here's how the ticket looks like. Yeah, man. I've been told English this second I don't know. What did you mean? People are talking English or what? So hot. so-called 
Mond Ur, an astronomical clock. This small balcony is also of great importance for Linz. From here, Pope Pius VI gave his blessing to the Linzes in 1782. The interior of the entire complex of buildings was fully restored and renovated with great skill and attention to historical detail. On the main square, you can also find the tourist information Linz and Linz 09, your competent partner for all questions concerning your stay. You can get everything you might need here, be it a map of the town, a gastronomy guide, tips on upcoming events, information on Lower Austria, or help with your hotel reservation. Don't hesitate to ask about the advantages of the Linz City ticket. The tourist information on the main square is open every day of the year, and they are looking forward to your visit. Service provider is the Stadt Linz Group, 
with 10,000 employees, including the magistrate, seven subsidiary companies, as well as substantial shareholdings. A quarter of these employees work in one of the hospitals. Projects such as the Exhibition and Congress Center Design Center or the largest technology center in Upper Austria, the Tech Center Linz Winterhafen, contribute. In front of us, you can once again see the Danube, and to the left is the Urfahrstadtfahrkirche zum Heiligen Josef. The convent church was built next to the Capuchin Monastery in the 17th century and was made a parish church in the course of the Josefina reforms when the monastery was closed. <coughs> the painting on the outside of the building depicts St. Nicholas, the patron of boatsmen. Right next to it, you can see the markings of the most severe Danube floods. On the left side between the cemetery and the Danube is the Jahrmarkt Gelände of Urfa. Every spring and autumn, fun fairs are held here. These fairs, which include pavilions and amusement arcades, are the successors to the Linzer Märkte. The round building with the dark glass front is the Bruckner House, a concert house and favorite venue spot. The inaugural concert was conducted by Herbert von Karajan. Every year in autumn, the Bruckner Fest is held. Within this area, the entire bank of the Danube is used as a place of leisure and recreation. Next to the Danube, you can see the Lentos Art Museum Linz. The building that was designed by Swiss architects looks even more impressive at night than it does during the day. When it's dark, the whole museum is illuminated with red and blue lighting. The art objects, the daylight that shines down into the large exhibition room directly from the glass roof, is best for showing them off in their best light. Exhibitions by internationally renowned artists, which are held here on the day regularly, attract large numbers of visitors. <laughs> What is special about Linz is that the historical city center is situated right next to the Danube. The town is very old. The first settlements can be traced back to 4000 BC. Later, Celts and Romans lived here, and due to its convenient location, the town soon became an important center of trade. In 1490, Linz was made state capital by Emperor Frederick III. Back then, the emperor even had his residence here. Moreover, the first horse-drawn rail cars in Europe led from Linz to Chesky Borovice. During the Nazi era, large factories were built in the eastern part of town, which laid the foundation for the development into becoming a major commercial center. Even today, the Danube port is the biggest and most important port in Austria. What is also interesting is that apart from Vienna, Linz was the only other divided city after the Second World War. The part of town known as Urfar was occupied by the Soviets, the Linzer side by the Americans. At that time, everyone who wanted to cross the Nibelungenbrücke needed an identity card. Today, Linz has a population of about 200,000 and is the third largest city in Austria after Vienna and France. The Johannes Kepler University offers various excellent training opportunities and attaches a great importance to practice-oriented education at international exchange. To your right, on the highest point, you can see the Lindsay Castle dominating the landscape. It was first mentioned in records in 799. Its history is quite eventful. Originally, it was the residence of Friedrich III. During the Napoleonic War, it was used as a military hospital. And in 1800, the entire was burnt to the ground. In the 19th century, the castle first served as a prison and later as a barracks. It was made available to the public as recently as 1959. From the fortifications, there is a wonderful view over Linz. Since 1963, it has been the Schloss Museum of the State of Upper Austria. Since the major fire in the Linzer Castle around 1800, there have been various public discussions on whether the south wing that burnt down in the fire should be rebuilt. The fact that Linz was appointed Europe. 
European capital of culture of 2009 gave a push in the right direction. The state of Upper Austria financed the reconstruction of the entire South Wing. Today's South Wing originated from a combination of historical building materials and a modern means of construction. The Schloss Museum Linz is the biggest universal museum in one building in Austria. Both of the bridgehead buildings build the gate to the main square. They are testimony of the plans that Hitler had for Linz. However, they are the only buildings of his gigantic city drafts or concept for the city that were actually constructed. Much of the old structure has been lost. You can see Linz's typical architectural characteristic on the main square and on other places in the old town, the so-called Bright Erka.
It wasn't dances that took place here, but ball games. Young aristocrats got together to keep themselves fit. So in a way, the ball house was an earlier form of today's fitness centers. The Landis Theater originated in the 19th century and was remodeled by Clement Sportsmeister in the 1950s. Moreover, an annex for intimate theater was added. However, the building turned out to be too small and to never be used for big opera performances. Therefore, a new musical theater was constructed on the Schmidmauer Platz and some in the Landstrasse. The architect is the Englishman Terry Corson.
concert. I'm quite a special framework here. Clip explaining everything that's why I wasn't talking. Yeah, so basically that's how Linz City looks like in 2024. Yeah, I think I've I've exhausted the Linz. So I need a, I think I need to go to the main city. The capital that is Vienna. Yeah, so we're gonna be going there soon as well as uh, seeing which country, which other which which country will be next yeah so thanks for the love right now it's so cold so i have to go somewhere and look for something hot either coffee tea yeah man so thank you thank you thank you guys thank you for the love that you're showing the videos that i'm doing here you know what i'm saying yeah so let's go let's go Let's go, let's go to jail, man. Let's go and look for something. Something hot. Yeah. At times it feels feel awkward holding the camera in front of people. It feels awkward because everyone is looking at you. But anyway, I'm at work. Yeah. Don't go 
but it's not it's not raining heavily. I'm not sure about that underpass, so I'll just use the street lights. Guys, can you guess where I'm going to look for? Let me hold this like this. Can you guess where I'm going to look for, for tea? Can you guess? Can you guess, guys? Somewhere there. Somewhere around that bill. Uh, 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 it's like the, this river is overflowing, man. Look. Thank God they carried this. The story will be different, man. Yo. At least I'm almost. At least I'm almost. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah, guys. So. Let's go. Yeah, and you guessed it right. If you see this building, you know which restaurant is next to it. Toodles! Our only African restaurant that is around Tamusana. Yeah, so let's go. And uh, have something hot. Yeah.
You have tea? Tea? Chai, chai. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the African tea, right? Yeah. Can okay, you give me that? Uh, with the samosas. How many? Just two. Two? This is for two, right? This is one samosa. One samosa. Uh, yeah, with one. Uh, the filling? You want it with meat? You have spinach, meat, potato. With meat? Thank you. Yeah, guys. The tea is here. Yeah. It's having tea and water. So let's wait for the other one. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is my summer. So. Excuse. Cup. I need a cup. Oh, it's there uh, underneath. You, uh, oh, oh. You, yeah, yeah. Just. Um, <laughs> okay, I've yeah, seen it. I've seen it. it. Yeah, thank you. It's a visa The cup is underneath, so just lift. I need to go back to my country. <laughs> my lord, my lord. Let's enjoy. Some sugar. Yeah, so guys, let me first. This one is still hot. And uh, still hot. Everything is still hot, but yeah, let me enjoy. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. Yeah, man, but samosa, the samosa looks yummy.
perfecto, see you in the next one, see you